name is Julio Yuzera. I'm a partner and director of Galeria Jacqueline Martins here in Brussels. The gallery has started in 2011 originally in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Jacqueline Martins, who is the name of the gallery, is the founder. She carefully developed a program uh, investigating the, the artist's production uh, that was carried out during the dictatorship in Brazil. So it's a very specific time and took a place in Brazil between 1964 and 1985. So of course these artists, they are very inspiring as they represent a very uh, strong resilience and creativity. Some of the artists that we work from this period, uh, it's Udi Nilsson Jr. We opened the gallery B in Brussels in 2020. Leticia Parente, Lidio Komura, Marta Araujo, Rafael França, Regina Vat, just to name a few. Um, since 2011, the main gallery proposal was ours to create dialogue between artists from different generation, different uh, cultural background, and diverse perspective. So in 2020, Jacqueline has invited me to join her to open the gallery here in Brussels. The idea of opening the gallery was also a way to be closer to the collectors, the artists, and the institutions that are based in Europe or in the surrounds. We always see in Brussels as a cultural hub, especially because of the cultural diversity and also to engage with artists that are based here that also has a completely different perspective. This space here in, in Sablon used to have a, a modern art gallery and they were leading to a new space. This was the first space that we visit and then we decided straight away, uh, okay, we want that space. We opened the gallery there. One place that is always in my tip list is here in the neighborhood of Sablon where the gallery is located. Uh, first, because there is many other international galleries. Just behind the gallery, uh, we can see from our window there is Parque Guimond. Parque Guimond has a lovely uh, cafe that in the summer or in the spring it's, it's great to be sitting in the terrace. Another area that I often recommend is the city center, uh, more specifically the surrounds of Place Saint Catherine. There is other art galleries and um, foundations, art foundations. There is a very special bookshop called Saint Martin, which used to be the first shop of Martin, Martin Margiela, Place Saint Catherine. There's many restaurants as well, but I like it, a place that is called Northern Z. It's a very casual place, so you can just order to go, or you can order and like stand in one of the high tables that they have on the square. We are very happy to take part of the fourth edition of Art Brussels, especially because this year we are also celebrating our fourth anniversary in Brussels. For our participation at the fair, we would like to showcase the main pillars of the gallery, which is to create dialogues between artists of different generations, cultural background, and diverse perspectives. So some of them are Adriana Marau, Celia Hampton, Chabo, Josef Boutros, Lia de Castro, Ian de Mascal, Lidio Kumura, and Philippe Vansnik. We are also showing works of Jota Mombasa. Jota Mombasa, in particular, is uh, also the exhibition that we will be uh, presenting here at the gallery at the time of the fair. Mm -hmm.